Let's talk about fear versus desire and which is the better motivator. So when it comes to your business, you may have reached a certain level of success. Your money's rolling in, the clients are rolling in, but you may not feel safe. You may still feel like, well, I've got to stay hypervigilant and I have to stay involved in everything and I can't really delegate to anybody because I can't trust anybody because if the other shoe drops, everything's going to, I'm going to lose everything and I don't want to be left in the lurch. I don't want to be like my mom and how she was, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's what fear sounds like. And yes, it will motivate you, but it will drive you to burnout. It will drive you to being stressed. It will drive you to never feeling at peace and truly happy and abundant in your life and business, no matter how much money you make, no matter how much you achieve, because there is no level of money or level of success at which you could ever feel safe because you are still operating from survival mode, you are essentially stuck in a fight or flight state. So what is desire? What does that look like? Well, desire looks like you going after what you want. And if we're really honest with ourselves, when we think about what we spend our money on, I know me, I spend the majority of my money on what I want. Even if it's food, which I need, I'm going to buy the food that I want. It's not like, oh, I have to go outside and whatever I find on the tree, I got to make it do, make it work. No, I go to the store. What do I have a taste for? (laughs) And I buy what I want, desire. You can be sitting at your home on the couch watching TV and get a craving for what you want. And now, thanks to Grubhub and DoorDash, you can just order it. But back in the day, you would put on something and go get what it is that you were craving from the store. Could have been ice cream, whatever. You were driven by your desire. Desire is a much more powerful motivator than fear. And I also want to add this caveat. When I speak about fear, what I'm not talking about is where the Bible talks about having a fear of God, which is a healthy, reverential awe for him. Um, of a fear of displeasing him because you love him so much and you appreciate everything that he's done for you and you just don't want to hurt him or make him sad by doing something that you know would disappoint him that's different so we're not talking about that fear we're talking about unhealthy fear fear has a place it keeps us safe right it keeps us from running out in the street keeps us from jumping off mountains with no parachutes that type of stuff but it also can become unhealthy when we remain in that state. And so that's the point is you can't stay there. It will not motivate you to get to where it is that you want to go. You have to make the powerful shift into desire so that you are actually going after what it is that you want, okay? And it also shifts your focus because when you're only focused on trying to avoid the worst from happening, guess what you're focusing on? The worst happening. (laughs) And guess what keeps coming up for you? Things just keep, it always seems to be something, something always happening. And I'm always having to be, it just feels like such a struggle. It just never gets easier. You're right. It won't. It will not get easier until you stop focusing on what could possibly go wrong and instead shift your focus and energy to feeling at peace, to feeling abundant. Because when you're in that state, now you're focusing on things that are positive. You're focusing on things that are going right. And so what your brain is going to do is bring into your awareness people, opportunities, and ideas that were always there, but you couldn't see them because your focus was on preventing the worst. But now because you're focused on the possibilities, the optimism, the certainty and belief that you can do it, now things just start flowing to you and coming to you easier. So that is the power of desire. And that is the power of getting your mindset in order, okay, so that you can not only maintain the success that you have achieved, but move to the next level with ease. Step into your power and expansion with ease. Allow more abundance to flow into your life with ease. It is all, it's all up here, okay? So if you found this helpful, let me know in the comments, all right? And give me a follow if you really enjoy this video and be sure to share it with a friend if there's something in here that you know she needs to hear. All right.